Hello everyone, myself Vijay Kumar, my batch member Venkat Krishnan, Chandil Kumar and Guru Prasad. We belong to EC Department of Realtek Engineering College. Our project, final project title is Indoor Localization with Mobile Robots with RF ready based mechanism. Our project is guided by Mrs. Vijay Lakshmi ma'am. We thanking our project guide for the internet support. In our project, we have designed RF ready based mobile robot for localization, which adopts this RF ready tag distributed in this space. In the existing system, only stand alone RF ID is used. It is covered by many uncertainties. In order to overcome these uncertainties, we have just fused the ultrasonic sensor with the RFID system. Our other objective is to propose a hierarchical localization algorithm to determine the exact position of this mobile robot with GP and LEC, that is, global position estimation and local environment condition. Now we need to know what is our project mainly deals with. So we need to know what is localization. Localization. This is nothing but localizing a position of an object in a coordinate of an environment. In order to know about localization, the current trend we are using uh, uh, at this time mainly involves GPS technology. GPS is the current trend we are using today. However, the flaw of the GPS in the environment and in the indoor is that the signal attenuation may lead to degradation of the signal, making it to be less accurate than the other systems. So, we need an alternative to eliminate the flaws of the system. So, we are creating a method to eliminate these flaws which involves using RFID system. This removes the uncertainties and gives us a, a more accurate way of determining the positioning. However, this also has certain uncertainties which make it less accurate. Thus, we need to do some alterations. So, we are focusing by using RFID as a GPE and the local cognition environment which is made up of various sensors. The prevailing system and the proposed system right now will be explained by my friend and colleague Venkata Krishnan. The prevailing system had a major flow of localization due to the standard standard only by RFID system which were flow employees. Yeah, employees. They thought, they thought out the, they thought out these uncertainties, the efficient of prevailing system and the, with sensor, uh, sensor uh, and also Increase, increase accuracy and propose by a proposed algorithm ready to the answer and then uh, eliminate the obstacles. Then working mechanism for um, uh, GP and the mobile robot is found by uh, matching with the uh, hard free attack, then portion obtained by the without the presence of any obstacles. Then proposed systems are uh, Proposed system which, which, which does not which does not employ exit the uh, GPS and localization. Uh, then uh, then um, Proposed systems are uh, proposing systems are uh, when uh, RFID when RFID attack can be placed in the floor and the data can be handled in mobile robot and data can be obtained when when data can be obtained by the RFID attack with the with the reader then a uh, exact position can be obtained and um, uh, yes uh, we can control the mobile robot uh, using for our of communication with the uh, key point to it. Then ultrasonic sensor we use we use to detect the exact obstacles and they overcome it. As I said before, we are using RFID system in our project. This RFID system consists of two parts, RFID reader, that is this is the RFID reader and the RFID tag, this is the RFID tag. This RFID reader is placed in the mobile robot to determine the location of this mobile robot. And this is the tag, there are two types of tag, active tag and passive tag. We are using passive tag in our project because of the flexibility in application. This passive tag does not require battery source and this work in the power from this reader. And uh, this this, pa uh, this passive tag is made up of three parts that is an antenna and an integrated chip and encapsulation. That, uh, this antenna is for just transmitting and receiving signal and integrated chip is for just processing, storing and processing information and this is the uh, plastic is the encapsulation just to protect the antenna and the chip from environment. This is the model representation of a project and this shows the various elements we have used. And this is the control section which we are using for the coordinate for object to be localized is given and it uses RFID transmitter and this is the RFID transmitter which the localization portion is transmitted to the robot section. These are the these are the passive tags as I said which are represented with unique IDs using which the global portion in the environment is obtained. This is the RF receiver which captures the captures the targeted input portion and determines the path by the GP that is global portion estimation. As the robot moves, the RF reader obtains the data as it moves and estimates the global position in environment. This is the RF reader and furthermore this is the ultrasonic sensor which using the obstacles are eliminated and provides a view as a local environment depending on this element. The DC motor, this is where is the DC motor underneath is driving to the location by the use, use of this motor, this is the motor driver circuit and finally the localization which is determined is localized by the mobile robot. Yeah. My friend Vijay Kumar had explained various models in our case. 
Now, the main advantage of our project is that it can be used in areas where GPS cannot be employed. Finally, the utility of our project is determined and a more accurate method for indoor localization is provided.